Mike Weggerson was a teacher at Matilla Valley High School. He was always inspiring, whether it was on the lacrosse field, in the classroom, or at home with his family. The community is still recovering from devastating news last month when Weggerson passed away at the age of 32. Zach Roth spoke with some of the most important people in Weggerson's life to learn more about his lasting legacy. Fate played a major role in Mike Weggerson's path into lacrosse. He wanted to coach his sport immediately after he began teaching science at Nequa Valley in 2004, and the Junior Varsity Girls lacrosse team had an opening. Despite having no background with the sport, Weggerson was up to the challenge. He didn't know anything about lacrosse, and that was what that was what was available and what was offered to him. And so he read a book on lacrosse. I'm not kidding. Like he went to the library, probably <laughs> read a book on lacrosse and just figured it out. Mike Weigerson passed away on June 6th, five days after suffering a stroke. This brought an abrupt end to a life characterized by laughter and joy. He was just the happiest person ever, and you know some people looked at him like a goofball, but at the you know at the end of the day, Wags was always Wags, and you know we always we always loved him for that. And yeah, he was super goofy. Sometimes he would try to embarrass me, and <laughs> in a good way, but yeah, that was definitely who he was, and I think that's um, part of what made him. Um, very full of life. He just enjoyed life so much and you could just tell um, just by having a conversation with him and I think he really wanted everyone else to enjoy life as much as he did. Weggerson will always have a spot in school history as the coach who founded the Tribe, a girls lacrosse team combining players from Mobanzi and Mattia. It wasn't difficult for the new team to rally around the man they lovingly referred to as Coach Weggs. He was just like easy to joke around with and I don't know, like he wasn't, he was more than like a teacher or court coach, he was just like a friend, you know. We have an incredible bond, it's like, it truly is like a family, and we would not, like certainly would not be that way without him. He was huge on the team aspect and making sure we all got along really well. Morgan Weinstock played at Nequa when Weggerson was coaching there and joined the Mattia coaching staff this season. She said Weggs continued to dish out life lessons even after her most stressful practices. Just walking off that field that one day, and he just was laughing at me like, I've been there, I've been there, don't, don't stress out about it, I've been there. And I was driving home that night and I was like, I should listen to him, <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Weggerson's decision to jump to Mattia and the following creation of the tribe were heavily influenced by a friendship forged in the Nequa Science Department. Jeff Schmela and Weggerson became great friends when Schmela joined the staff in 2006 and he helped pull Weggerson to the brand new school. We were building uh, a stoop on the back of his mom's house one summer and I said, hey, are you going to apply to go to Matia Valley? And he said, I don't know. I said, let's go. The two buddies rode bikes to school whenever they could, worked together in the press box during football games, and even got opportunities to share a classroom. We taught AP Environmental Science together, and that was a fantastic experience. And just the, the way he was able to touch lives in that or with that class, what getting kids to grow their own food and go out and make a, you know, a positive environmental impact. Wuggerson's wife said both sides of his job, coaching and teaching, proved very rewarding, especially when he saw how well the kids were doing. He loved hearing from kids that he coached or taught, and I think that it made him feel really good when he saw that they were doing something, you know, successful to better themselves or you know whatever it was they were doing it made him really proud. This pride and constant care was evident in his family life as well. Wargerson met his future wife at a friend's wedding in 2007 and the two clicked almost immediately. I actually knew I would marry Mike the first time like our first date and I wouldn't have admitted it to anyone at that time because especially him <laughs> but I think I knew right away that there was something different about Mike. We just had this great connection. It was one of those really true love type of deals. It was one of those relationships where, you know, she really was, you know, the, the greatest, biggest thing in his life. The couple married in July of 2010. Kate lists plenty of fond memories with Mike, but one story from her pregnancy stands out among the rest. During a visit to the doctor, the pair received some surprising news. Mike actually figured it out before the doctor said, because he looked at like the ultrasound screen and he could tell what he, he was a biology teacher, he could tell what he was seeing. And he just started laughing, <laughs> like almost like <laughs> a hysterical laughter. On June 25th, 2013, the Weggersons welcomed twin girls into the world. So this is Elle, she's the blonde one that looks exactly like Mike. <laughs> yeah, she's excited about that. And that's Auburn. 
Ow, oh my gosh. I'd ask him the question, you know, you know, what did the twins do that was cute? And oftentimes his response was simply everything. You know, they were, they, they were his favorite thing. <laughs> Mike loved when they clapped. He loved everything they did. He was a really good dad, very involved. He did everything right from the start. The community responded in a major way after Wagerson's sudden passing. Whether it was teachers donating diapers, friends stopping by to mow the lawn, or any other number of kind acts, support came from far and wide to the Wagerson home. People are contributing and trying to help in any way they can. It's, it literally is impossible for me to sit down and list everything that people have been doing, and I'm, I'm really grateful. Perhaps the largest gesture came digitally, via an online fundraising page created by friends of the family. The Mike Wegerson Memorial Fund launched last month on GiveForward.com and has already raised over $40,000 toward the education of Ella and Auburn. Mike, probably before anything else, considered himself a provider to me and our girls, and I think that this just kind of is his way of continuing to take care of us. I'm not alone and everyone really misses Mike and he did leave this world a better place and I think that that fund is just an amazing, amazing thank you to him. Another tribute idea came from the large role fitness played in Wegerson's life. He routinely found himself in events like triathlons and his love of cycling inspired some early plans for a new event in his honor. The working title is Bike for Mike. That's going to be a, you know, a family friendly event and to help you know, raise, raise funds for the family is also uh, promote stroke awareness. The myriad of lives touched by Wargazin will continue to benefit from those lessons learned. Although he's no longer here to speak them directly, his words of wisdom still ring true. Any limitations you have in life are only set by yourself. He was really big on having confidence in yourself and knowing what you can do. And he taught me a ton about just believing in myself and my abilities. He really, really left his stamp everywhere. He left it on the field. He left it in the classroom. He left it on the road in his little red Chevy pickup truck. And I mean, he just, he left his mark everywhere. Everywhere he went, he impacted somebody's life. Ellen Auburn will grow up without memories of their father, but they'll have no shortage of sources for incredible stories. Kate promises to instill the values Mike held dear, <laughs> education, environmentalism, and of course, sports. He really wants them to participate in a sport. He doesn't care which one, although, I mean, I think he would have loved them to play lacrosse. <laughs> um, so I'll have to learn that, I guess. <laughs> Kate says she's already gotten offers from some of Mike's former players to help teach lacrosse to their daughters. The type of happiness Coach Weggs had was contagious. Everyone's face lights up when reminiscing about him. I was lucky enough to meet him at a couple tribe games I covered this season, and that positivity was always evident, even after a 10-goal loss. We were in the right spots, but we just had a lot of uh, turnovers. Glenn Bart forced a lot of our turnovers right there. Uh, but I'm really proud of how girls uh, worked out there. They worked hard. They were in the right spots. Uh, we cleaned up some mistakes, and we're going to be in a lot of ball games. To donate to the Mike Wegerson Memorial Fund, visit GiveForward.com.